Welcome to Culture Alley Spanish. Hola, this is Español Lesson 27. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that we learned in the last lesson. Now let's use some of these to describe people. Look at the image on the right. Let's try to describe her. She is Cecilia. She is Spanish. She is responsible and intelligent. She is short. Now let's describe Cecilia in Spanish. She is Cecilia. She is Spanish becomes Ella es Cecilia. Ella es Española. Note that we use Española as Cecilia is female. She is responsible and intelligent becomes Ella es responsable e inteligente. Note that whenever a word after starts with an E sound, we translate AND to E and not Y, as you don't want to have two E sounds right one after the other. Hence, we say responsable e inteligente, and not responsable e inteligente. Great! The Argentinian man is translated as el hombre argentino. The old and intelligent man becomes el viejo e inteligente. Again, we use E and not Y as inteligente starts with E sound. Finally, the tall man is el hombre alto. She is American becomes ella es americana. She is young and thin translates to ella es joven y delgada. And finally, she is honest will be, ella es honesta. Awesome! All right, let's move on to today's lesson, which deals with demonstrative adjectives. In today's lesson, we will discuss various demonstrative adjectives like this, that, these, and those, and their usage. Demonstrative adjectives are widely used in day-to-day -day conversations. Hence, it is important for us to understand their correct usage in Spanish. Demonstrative adjectives indicate or point out the person, place, or thing to which a speaker is referring to. For instance, this shirt or that pair of pants. This and that are demonstrative adjectives in this case. Just like in English, demonstrative adjectives come before the noun in Spanish. They change with the number and gender of the nouns they modify. In Spanish, you select a demonstrative adjective according to the distance of the noun from the speaker. Spanish has three sets of demonstrative adjectives, depending on the location of the noun to the speaker or listener. The first set of demonstrative adjectives is used to describe a noun which is near to or directly concerned with the speaker. In English, we usually use this for referring to nouns or objects which are nearby. The demonstrative adjectives this has two forms in Spanish. This translates to este with masculine subjects and esta with feminine subjects. Let's try these forms again. This translates to este or esta. Note that there is no accent mark on esta. Well done! The plural form of demonstrative adjective this is these. These also has two forms in Spanish. These will be estos with masculine subjects and estas with feminine subjects. Can you say these please? Estos with masculine subjects and estas with feminine subjects. Great! Let us move on to the next set of demonstrative adjectives. The second set of demonstrative adjectives is used to describe a noun which is not particularly near to or directly concerned with the speaker. In English, we use that and those for such cases. For example, that girl will refer to a girl who is not in close vicinity to the speaker. Similarly, those boys will refer to boys who are standing away from the speaker. That translates to ese when used with masculine nouns and esa when used with feminine nouns. 
Try that, please. The plural form of that is those. Those becomes esos with masculine nouns and esas with feminine nouns. The third set of demonstrative adjectives is used to describe a noun which is very far from and not directly concerned with the speaker. That and those are translated in a different way to describe such nouns. That translates to aquel with masculine nouns and aquella with feminine nouns. Its plural, those, will be aquellos with masculine and aquellas with feminine nouns. Let us look at all three sets of demonstrative adjectives together. The first set of demonstrative adjectives describe nouns that are close to the speaker. This translates to este for masculine and esta for feminine nouns. These will be estos with masculine and estas with feminine nouns. The next set of demonstrative adjectives describe nouns which are farther away from the speaker. That becomes ese with masculine and esa with feminine. Those is translated as esos for masculine and esas for feminine nouns. The last set of demonstrative adjectives describe nouns at a distance. That, over there, will be aquel for masculine nouns and aquella for feminine nouns. Those, over there, will be aquellos with masculine and aquellas with feminine nouns. Let us look at some examples. This book translates to este libro. Try that one. Este libro. These books will become estos libros. Can you say that? Estos libros. Note that book takes up masculine gender in Spanish. This pen is translated as esta pluma. Try that, please. Esta pluma. These pens become estas plumas. Remember that pen takes up feminine gender in Spanish. Great! That book will be ese libro. And those books becomes esos libros. Try that also. Esos libros. Awesome! That pen translates to esa pluma. And those pens will be esas plumas. Moving on. That book over there translates to aquel libro. Can you say that? Aquel libro. Those books over there will be aquellos libros. Try that, please. Aquellos libros. That pen over there is translated as aquella pluma. And those pens over there becomes aquellas plumas. Very good. Let us try and frame some sentences using demonstrative adjectives. This book is mine is translated as este libro es mío. Can you say that? Este libro es mío. Good. Note that mine becomes mío in Spanish. This magazine is interesting becomes esta revista es interesante. Try that, please. Esta revista es interesante. Magazine translates to revista. And interesting becomes interesante. Note that magazine takes up feminine gender. Moving on. 
Those pencils are Pamela's, translates to, esos lapices son de Pamela. Say that one also. Esos lapices son de Pamela. Do you remember that pencils takes up masculine gender in Spanish? Very good. Let us try and translate, can you see the boat over there? Can you see the boat over there will be, ¿Puedes ver aquel barco? Try that, please. ¿Puedes ver aquel barco? Make a note that boat takes up masculine gender and gets translated to barco. Moving on, these pants are short translates as estos pantalones son cortos. Can you say that? Estos pantalones son cortos. Where pants or pantalones takes up masculine form. Short becomes cortos in Spanish. Great! Those monkeys are funny becomes esos monos son cómicos. Try that one also. Esos monos son cómicos. Note that funny is translated as cómicos and monkeys or monos takes up masculine form in Spanish. The last example is, those cities are small. Those cities are small is translated as, aquellas ciudades son pequeñas. Say that, please. Aquellas ciudades son pequeñas. Remember that small becomes pequeñas as cities takes up feminine form in Spanish. Although both ese and aquel and their related forms can be translated as that or those, there are some distinctions in meaning. Ese and its related forms are more common, and you're generally safe to use them when in English you'd use that or those. However, aquel and its related forms refer to something that's farther away in terms of distance or time. Thus, when referring to distance, in space, aquel should refer to the more distant thing. For example, ese means someone is asking us that one, but we may want something which is further away from the object the person is pointing at. So we will reply, no, that one, over there, which translates to no, aquel. Let us look at some exercises to help us test what we have learned so far. Try translating, bring me that book, where bring becomes traer. Bring me that book translates to, traeme ese libro. Did you get that right? How will you say, he lives in this house? Let me give you a hint. To live becomes vivid. House is casa and takes up feminine gender in Spanish. Thus, he lives in this house will become El vive en esta casa. Good! How will you translate those flowers in Spanish? Where flowers is flores and takes up feminine gender. Those flowers will be esas flores. How did you do there? How will you say that blouse is cheap? Blouse is blusa and becomes feminine. Cheap is barato. That blouse is cheap is translated as esa blusa es barata. Super! Try translating, those shirts are expensive. Shirts becomes camisas and takes up feminine gender and expensive is 
caro. Those shirts are expensive will translate as Esas camisas son caras. Hope you got that correct. Moving on with some more exercises. Those shoes are ugly will be Where shoes is zapatos, which takes up masculine form, and ugly is feo. Those shoes are ugly becomes esos zapatos son feos. The last one is that boy over there is from Spain. How will you say it? That boy over there is from Spain translates to aquel muchacho es de España. Note that muchacho means boy. Good job. All right, it's time for the culture leaf of the day. In today's culture leaf, we will talk about Paso Doble. Paso Doble is a lively dance modeled after the drama of the Spanish bullfight. Paso Doble actually means two step. The Paso Doble is a theatrical Spanish dance. Traditionally, the man is characterized as the matador or bullfighter, and the lady as his cape in the drama of a Spanish bullfight. Based on flamenco dancing, the paso doble is both arrogant and passionate. The paso doble is performed more as a competition dance than as a social dance. In the paso doble, dancers take strong steps forward with the heels and incorporate artistic hand movements. The man should also incorporate apel, a move in which he strongly stamps his foot, much like a matador strikes the ground in order to capture the attention of the bull. The image on the right shows moves from paso doble. All moves of the paso doble should be sharp and quick, with the chest and head held high to represent arrogance and dignity. The image here shows a couple gracefully performing paso doble. In the next lesson, we will talk about superlatives in Spanish, which will help us to compare between qualities of people or objects. We will also learn how to say good, better, best, and bad, worse, worst in future lessons. We hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.